Excellencies, distinguished guests, colleagues, friends. I arrived in Rwanda for the first time 19 years ago, in September 1995. The 100 days of murder that had claimed the lives of nearly 1 million people had ended just over a year before, and the ICTR had been established for only 10 months. The lush fertility of the beautiful Rwandan countryside was already reclaiming and disguising sites of battle and killing, and it was almost impossible, even then, for an outsider to grasp the scale of the horror that had taken place just the previous year. Yet to grasp that horror was the essential challenge for anyone who wished to help Rwanda and to help humanity in its post-genocide dawn. <clears throat> in 1995, I did not have the benefit of meticulously examined and established facts. I did not have the benefit of the accounts of nearly 3,000 witnesses tested and evaluated by a panel of international judges. We all accept how important it is for the human race to be confronted with such events from our history, to remember, to never forget. The painstaking work, the 20 years painstaking work of the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda in investigating, prosecuting and judging those crimes has ensured that they cannot be forgotten, rewritten or denied. They must be acknowledged. The ICTR has captured the stories and histories of what happened in those three dark and dreadful months and has ensured their rescue from fading memory and from the more sinister forces that would have them buried under the metaphorical moss or the tropical abundance as the world moves on. I would like to salute the courage of the witnesses, the dedication of the staff, the contribution of Defence Council, the leadership of the judges and principals of the ICTR as they approach the completion of their historic task. They have carved a lasting monument to the memory of hundreds of thousands of our fellow human beings. On behalf of the Registrar of the Mechanism for International Criminal Tribunals, who is not able to be with us today, let me say that it is an honour to be appointed custodian of these accounts, of the product of 20 years of industry and commitment. As the ICTR reaches its triumphant conclusion, the mechanism stands ready to treasure and preserve its legacy and to assist the prosecutor in the completion of his task. The registry of the residual mechanism appreciates the solemnity and the significance of this mandate. The gift that the ICTR has given to Rwanda and to the world is the gift not only of justice, but of truth. Thinking back to my own personal encounter with the aftermath of genocide 19 years ago, neither I nor my colleagues could have, had, could have envisioned that the nascent institution that was the ICTR would grow to achieve all that it has, that international justice would, as a result of the work of the ICTR and its sister tribunal, be the fact of political life that it is today, that 93 of the most prominent suspects in the genocide that had just then occurred would be subject to the rule of law. That the stories of what happened in the Commune and on the Colline of Rwanda in 1994 would have been so methodically written. It is a cause for celebration for all of us that these things have come to pass. In conclusion, I thank you all for attending today. Thank you in particular to His Excellency Jean-Pierre Karabaranga, Ambassador of the Republic of Rwanda to the Netherlands to Mr. Janssen, representative of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, to the prosecutor of the ICTR, the Honourable Hassan Boubacar Jallo, and of course, to the ICTR president, Judge Janssen. It was a great personal honour for me to be part of the ceremony today and of the historic project of the ICTR. Thank you.